Welcome back to Miss World 1993. Coming to you live from the fabulous Sun City, here in Southern Africa. And now the Miss World 1993 semi-finalists in ball gowns of their own choice. And they're serenaded on stage by Sam Murray and John Cecil. We start with semi-finalist number one, Miss Finland. Birds fly, they don't think twice. They simply spread their wings. The sun shines and don't ask why. the honor to become Miss World. I would do very hard work for it, but always, but also enjoy myself as an ambassador of goodwill. Thank you. Semi-finalist number two, Miss Philippines. Love is a wonderful thing. become Miss World, I'll be the happiest person on earth. For sure, it'll change me in many ways, but definitely. My sentiments for my family, parents, loved ones, and all my fans in the Philippines will still be the same. Thank you. Semi-finalist number three, Miss Sweden. The only thing the river knows is running to the sea. I become Miss World, I will use my money for my further education and I will continue to support the health organization for the homeless children. Thank you. Semi-finalist number four, Miss USA. After that, I'm lucky if I can even speak after that. Um, if I were chosen as Miss World 1993, I would stop panting and I would spend my year concentrating on making people understand that women of the 90s should be appreciated for their emotional, spiritual, and intellectual qualities. Thank you. Five, Miss Croatia. on the world and my country will be celebrated all life. Thank you. Semi-finals number six is Miss Korea. You got a lot to want to impress me. If 
I become a Miss World, I want to the world to smile with me, and I will. Semi-finalist number seven, Miss Venezuela. If I would become Miss World, I think my parents will be very proud of me because I'm their only child. And I would also like to work for people with AIDS because I think that is one of the most important problems all over the world. Thank you. Semi-finalist number eight is Miss Jamaica. Ladies and gentlemen, if I was a lucky girl to become Miss World today, I would definitely wear the crown with a lot of humility and respect, and I would try the best way I can to be an ambassador, symbol of love and hope for the less fortunate children around the world. I would also endeavor to use the opportunity to become more self-sufficient so that I could go after my career goal. Thank you. Semi-finalist number nine, Miss France. Keep us together. If I become Miss World, I would like to tell the people around the world that we have to be together and to fight together to preserve our nature. And I would like to invite all the wonderful Misses in my wonderful country. Thank you. Semi-finalist number 10 is Miss South Africa. You, you belong to me now. I ain't gonna set you free now. If I were to become Miss World, I'd make sure that everything that I do is a success, whether it's helping homeless people or people with AIDS, all those people who need my help, I'll be there for them. And South Africa will always be there for you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the semi-finalists for Miss World 1993, let's give them a big hand. Wonderful, and there seems to be such a variety of evening gowns. Kim, for me, this is the most elegant part of this competition. You see a variety of styles, colors, indigenous fabrics that represent these girls' cultures. I think we've got to give a hand to Miss USA. Things like this happens. It's a live show. Yeah. She kept she her cool. She kept going, and what a wonderful response. Good for her. Yes, she's a good public speaker, as you said. Yes. <laughs> And soon we'll find out who the top five finalists are. After the break, George Benson. Miss World 1993 will continue after the break.
Welcome back to Miss World 1993. Coming to you live from the fabulous Sun City here in Southern Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just about ready to announce the names of the five finalists. But first, superstar, jazz guitarist and singer, George Remembers. You're the love of my life. And you'll always be You're the love of my life The only one for me Honey, you're my strength My inspiration Your loving keeps me on a natural high You and I, the perfect combination. I couldn't live without you, baby. I never want to try. The love of my life, my very heart and soul. To keep you happy each day. Is my number one goal You're the love of my life With you each day is brand new And every moment you need Brings me closer to announce the names of the five semi-finalists for Miss World 1993. And remember, these results have been audited by Coopers and Libran. Welcome back, ladies. Now, before we make that announcement, I would just like to say to all ten of the finalists, when they get into their positions, ladies, you are truly, really wonderful. Now, we know that they all can't make it through to the next round, but even to have come this far is a fantastic achievement. Do you agree? I certainly agree. Good luck, ladies. You ready for this? So, here we go. This is in random order. And the first
first finalist to go through to the last round is Miss Philippines. Down continues, ladies and gentlemen. Our second finalist is Miss Croatia. And finalist number three is Miss South Africa. That brings us to the second last name on the list. Who is it, Doreen? It's the name of Miss Venezuela. And finalist number five is Miss Jamaica. Well, there they are, ladies and gentlemen, the five finalists for the title of Miss World. Each contestant will pull a card from the hat and will be asked a question by the judges whose name she selects. Doreen, please join the judges. Okay. Okay. Gentleman with the hat, come over here. Don't be shy. Thank you. Okay. Miss Philippines, will you please join me for your question? Miss Philippines. Oh, this way. Thank you, darling. Okay. Kindly dip your hand in there and pull out a, a name. And we'll see who it is. Okay, here we go. Who is that? Okay, Vanessa Williams. Vanessa, your question, please. Uh, Miss Philippines, how would you tell a girl who's suffering from low self-esteem to feel better about herself? Well, I'd tell her to believe in, self, in herself because it's not only physical beauty that's important. It's also inner beauty. Like what the little prince said, what is essential is invisible to the naked eye. And I believe that character and personality is more important than physical beauty. Yes, very nicely put. Thank you very much. Miss Philippines, okay, go over there, darling. Take a position over there. Okay, Miss Croatia, would you come up here? Thank you, Miss Croatia. You're... Okay, take a name from the hat, darling. Turn around here, let the people see you. Christy Brinkley, your question. Good evening, Miss Croatia. I was wondering uh, how you feel about the swimsuit competition. Is it outdated? Yes, of course. I like the swimsuit. I didn't understand very well. Can well that was it? fine. That was yes, fine. Was but did you think that? Did you think it's outdated the swimsuit? I mean, do you think it's out of fashion doing this? No, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you very much. It's Thank you. And you look perfect in it too. Thank you, Miss Croatia. Thank you. Oh, please go over there. Okay, the next lady, Miss South Africa, please join me up here. Thank you. Okay. Okay, and the name is Juliet Prowse. Juliet, your question, please. Miss South Africa, as a fellow South African, um, next year is going to be a very important year, come April 27th. What is your feelings about it? Well, I'm very hopeful about South Africa. As I've been saying to all South Africans, the reason why I'm hopeful is because the people of South Africa, the white people as well as the black people, are working towards unity and peace, which is the most important thing that we need right now in South Africa. Thank you. Thank you very much, Miss South Africa. Thank you. And now, Miss Venezuela, would you please join me here? And put that lovely hand in the hat and pick out a name. Who do we have here? Frederick Forsyth. Freddie, your question. Venezuela, we've been looking for qualities here. When you meet another person, what's the quality? I think the most important human quality is to be sincere every time and to be your own person, not uh, trying to imitate another one, just being yourself every time and anywhere you are. Thank you. Well no imitation with you, Miss Venezuela. Thank you. Okay, and last, Miss Jamaica. Please come over here, darling. Oh, there we go. Everyone's shy. They want to walk behind. 
All right, the name on the card. Ah, Grace Jones. Your question, Grace. Yes. Yes. I am a fellow Jamaican as well. But um, I was thinking, has it ever crossed your mind during uh, the pageant that if you did win Miss World, that you felt that one of the other contestants might have deserved it and give away your um, throne it's a, it's a to them? I have been brought up to be a very humble person and a very sincere person. And during this pageant, I have met so many beautiful and wonderful people. And all of us are winners in our own right. And I, by some divine intervention, if I do manage to win this crown tonight, I would say that there are other girls I feel that are eligible for the title. They do possess the qualities that I feel would make a wonderful ambassador for the world that would help. And if another girl wins, I would be very happy for her. I would congratulate her and I would help her in the best way I can. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there they are, the five finalists for Miss World 1993. Let's give them a warm Sun City ovation. And thank you to our judges. Thank you, Doreen. Over to Kim and Gina in the booth. Thank you, Pierce. Wow, some very difficult, hard questions and some very poised, wonderful answers. These women handled their, themselves. Uh, you could hear the crowd stirring. I think they were quite impressed with some of the answers from these girls. This is a crucial part of the competition. The judges need to see how these girls respond under pressure. And you can't ask for any better than those five contestants. No, and one didn't speak English very well, and she still came across. Her beauty it, came exactly. out. Exactly. Even when you don't speak English, they express themselves perfectly. That's right. Well, Gina, our part of the evening is over, believe it or not. Time flies. I'd like to wish all five finalists the best of luck, and thank you so much for joining me. Thanks, Kim. This has brought back a lot of good memories, and I wish all the best of luck to the new Miss World. But remember, the show's not over yet. Coming up, Lou Gossett Jr. and Jacqueline Bissett joins the show for a very touching tribute to Miss World's beauty with a purpose. Miss World 1993 will continue after the break.